Now first, just go ahead and call out stop for me. That'll work, fantastic. So this right here will be your card. Now make sure to have this memorized. You got it? Great. We're gonna take that, put it in the middle fan so we can lose it somewhere in the deck. Lose that there, and then lose this about halfway down as well. So your card is lost somewhere about 20, seven, eight, nine cards down. Uh, it doesn't matter quite where it's lost. As long as it's lost, that's what matters. We're gonna take the top four cards and we're gonna use them to hopefully find your card. So I'm just gonna get rid of the rest for now. So we have the rest of the cards gone. We have only four cards. And once again, we're just gonna give these a bit of a mix. So even though I haven't looked at them, they're still all mixed up just for extra certainty. Um, now at this point, even though I don't have a spectator, what I'd normally do is I'd take these cards and hand them to my spectator and have them put them between their knuckles like so, so that they're all squared up and right here like this. And then you can literally take it, even have someone else do it. Now as long as they're squeezing tight, this trick will work. So you can just take it here and just like that, only one card remains, your card, the King of Clubs. This is a super, super fun beginner card trick. So if you're just getting started in magic, this is going to be super fun for you to do. One, it makes you feel like you get to hit something and of course hitting things are just fun anyways. You get to learn a super easy magic trick that's not gonna take a ton of sleight of hand. And if you're just getting started, that's where you want to be. Now I definitely have more tutorials on this channel of things that are going to be more advanced, but for now, let's start with the basics, right? So if you wanna learn how to do this, subscribe, ring the bell, smash that like button, and let's get into this super amazing tutorial. Before we do, make sure if you want to check out these playing cards that I'm using in this video, they are 15% off in the description below. So let's get into it right now. All right, so now that we are on to the tutorial, here is what you're going to need to do. First, I want you to let you know that there is no setup whatsoever, which means it's completely impromptu. You can go up and use a borrowed deck to do this trick, which is fantastic for beginner magicians, or honestly, just magicians in general. I know I've been doing this for seven years, but still, I, do, I like doing more impromptu tricks anyways. So first you're gonna have them select a card and it doesn't matter what card they select, completely free choice. Now I like to do a draw control. So when I do this, I'm really showing them the second card and then putting the top card in, right? So their card's still here when that happens. So I'll show you what that looks like. So they stop here, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna show them the second card and then put the top card in. Now I do have a full tutorial on this move and if you want to check that out, I'll leave it in the description below so you guys can check it out. So right now you've controlled their card to the top of the deck when they think their card is somewhere lost in the middle. Now once their card is on the top of the deck, you're just going to take the top four cards, five cards, if you want to take more. You can. Personally, I like four cards. It seems like a good number for me. You can use other numbers. I'd like to experiment on it, figure out what works for you if you want to find a reason for it. And you can get rid of the rest of the cards. Now, right now, you have their card on the bottom of this packet. And when I was doing this shuffle, I'm just taking one, 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 drop. One, 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 drop. And I do this four times, the way their card stays on the bottom. So the first time it goes to the top, and the bottom, top, and bottom. And it stays right where you want it. Now, once you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have them put it in between their knuckles, between their first and middle finger. And when they're holding it like this, make sure they're holding it tight because you don't want to smack it and all of the cards fall out because then it ruins the trick, right? So then what you're gonna want it to do is have, of course have their card here, have them squeeze tight. And even if they squeeze too tight where nothing comes out, it's okay. Just have them squeeze tight. And eventually these top three cards will end up falling off because of the way that friction works. And they will only be left with the bottom card, which in this case, because you've already done the control is now their card. And if you want to do it where you've already had a prediction laid off to the side, you can do it in a way where you force the card. So that is another way to do it. So let's say, um, let's use the Queen of Clubs, for example. Now, uh, this is throwing out a random card. So you have the spectator select one. So you have it here. You show them the card. You have it here like this. And like there's so many different controls you can do. So you, their, their card is the Queen of Clubs, right? So you have the Queen of Clubs. You bury it in the middle you bury it again, right? But you already had that Queen of Clubs like I predicted before I even started this. So then afterwards, you pull out your prediction. After you've already smacked it out of their hand, they're left with the Queen of Clubs in their hand, which is already their card. Then you go to the prediction and once again, find their card, which you already know is what it would be. So it's a double way to do a trick, 
makes it really fun. There's a little extra kicker at the end. And I hope you guys had liked this. And if you do, make sure to let me know if you guys want more beginner magic, more intermediate, advanced. Let me know what kind of magic tutorials you guys want here on the channel because I do them every single Sunday. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Card Perfect signing off.